We're gonna kill the outsider. Can you really kill the outsider? Well, first of all, in the games, we never force you to kill anyone. There's always an alternate uh, resolution in the Dishonored games. Dowd and Billy Lurk are both people who have a great sense of remorse for what they've done. They've reflected on their actions as assassins and they've asked themselves, have I made the world a better place or have I made the world a worse place? And Billy is different and she says, what can I do about that? I'm going to actually do something about that. You up for one last job, Billy? Who's the mark? The black-eyed bastard responsible for all the chaos. Rightly or wrongly, they come to the conclusion that the outsider, this supernatural figure who concentrates power and gives it to an individual, and then instead of like making sure they use it properly, just stands back and watches, uh, Dowd and Billy Lark conclude that that is responsible for a lot of the chaos in the world. And if they remove the outsider, uh, then the world would be a better place, a more stable place. In general, can you continue to play this game, like in the past, as mercifully as you want, or as bloodthirstily, if that's a word, <laughs> as you like? Yeah, I mean, it's one of the key pieces that you can approach the Dishonored games as an action game. You know, like sprinting, running, sliding, hacking heads off. It's a very cathartic thing. Uh, you behave in the game in a way that you never would in the real world, and it's, uh, it's just an action explosion. Uh, or you can like literally ghost the game, never be seen, literally never be seen uh, by the AI or by the enemies. Uh, and you can play violently or without, without engaging in combat at all. Why do you think The Outsider is such a beloved character to the fans and community? But I think the key to why he's an interesting character is there's a touch of mystery to him. You're never sure what his motives are. Uh, he stays aloof. He offers things but doesn't come to conclusions. So he's not quite like, he's not an evil figure, um, but it's hard to see him as a good figure. He's not a trickster character. He's, he's very earnest, actually. Sometimes he's ironic. I think he's suffered, and that's one of the reasons they're endeared to him. <laughs>